Hey guys, Stacy here we grow again. I just wanted to talk to you today about eggshells in your garden. And I know it sounds absolutely crazy, but somebody had taught this to me about a few months ago. And ever since I started doing this, um, it helps my plants so much with giving them a kickstart in that soil, um, just giving them nutrients, natural nutrients. So I don't have to worry too much about overdoing it with, you know, Avani nutrients, something like that. Um, I love organic gardening. I try to do as much as I can. And this is just one of the ways you can add extra nutrients in your soil to get healthier plants. Um, these basils have just taken off since I got grew them from seedlings. These were little seeds that I sprouted and they just been doing so good. This smells so good. Um, and these get eggshells, all of these get eggshells. And I use them in everything. You, all you do is boil that egg. Um, you know, this was a whole egg, you take that shell off. Now you want that skin on the inner side. You wanna make sure you keep that. Um, now I let this just sit in a container with, you know, about six eggs I do at a time. Um, we eat the eggs, so we eat eggs all the time, so I always have eggshells. Um, and just crush them up. Let them dry out on your counter for about a good five, six days. Um, just open like this, nothing on it, and then you can crush it up to this little, you know, these little pieces. Make sure it's nice and ground up. You can put it in a food processor, whatever you'd like. Um, now, I use this for cactuses. Um, these are jades. This is a regular San Pedro cactus, and all you do, see this has perlite on top, but what, if this didn't and it's just soil, you want to just sprinkle just a little bit around there and till it in the soil. Just mix it with your fingers in the soil. You can see like those eggshells are in there and you can just move them in. You know, make sure you're getting buried. And then what's going to happen is these eggshells are going to start disintegrating over the next few months. So, you know, you won't have to do this for another about a month or two. Um, and then you can check and if all the eggshells are decomposed on top, then you can just add some more. Um, I don't believe you can overdo it, um, especially with Epsom salt. I use that as well. Um, check out my video if you need help on that. It works great just to promote healthy plants. Now, like I said, I give all my plants this and look how beautiful they are growing. Um, now, I struggle a lot in the summertime with all of my plants, so I like to really give them as much natural nutrients as I can to just kind of help them out. Um, I don't water a lot, so they're not getting that, that liquid nutrients in the water. And the reason why I can't water too much here is because it just rains every day in Florida. I mean, this weather has been killing me um, and killing my plants. They're just turning yellow. They're not, the soil's not drying out fast enough. So I can't go and water with nutrients and feed it because the soil is already soaking wet. Um, and that's just a tip. You know, if your soil is not drying out, you want to try to not water that, um, especially with anything. I mean, too much water can create mold, mushrooms, bugs, just to make your plant die in the long run. So make sure your soil is drying out really good. Um, and I use it for everything. These are Calancho succulents. This is a nephitis plant. Um, I love this. It propagates like crazy. I have a video on that too. Um, I use it for my aloes. All my veggies and herbs, any veggie and herb I'm growing, this goes in. Um, my pineapples, my carrots, cucumbers, even my marigolds, my blueberry, my blackberry. I mean, everything gets this. And that's all you do. A few months, it'll disintegrate, and you can just add some more in there. I do one egg per plant. So, like, you know, this size plant, I'll get one egg up in there. And then this size plant, since I have two, and they're pretty big basils right now, um, actually three in here, I'm going to put two eggshells, two whole eggshells in here crushed up. Um, so just go by the size of the plant and you should be fine, guys. I love using this. It's a great system to use. I love sharing my tips with you, just things that I figure out on my own or, you know, things get taught to me over the years. Um, I've been gardening for about five years now and let me tell you, when I started, it was a real struggle. You have to know what you're buying. Um, you know, you have to be out in your garden. You can't just put plants out in the garden and, and not pay attention to them. Because especially here in Florida, with this humidity and rain, it's just so crazy. It takes out all my plants. Um, you know, and problems, bugs arise within hours, overnight, days. I mean, it can happen. 
Um, and once they get in there and lay all them little eggs up in there, it can be hard to get that under control. So the more you're out in the garden, you know, the more healthier your plants are going to be in the long run. Um, you know, as far as other gardening tips, just make sure if you're just starting out with gardening, start small. You know, get get one or two of a basil or, you know, one jade or something. Start with something simple and then get to know that plant, the type of species of plant you're getting. Like this jade is going to be totally different from these two plants. This is a regular house plant and this is a basil. So this jade is going to be totally different. So you, you really need to get to know your plants. Get to know what's going to be good for your zoning area. Um, you know, and you should be fine. Get as much information as you can. Um, because the more information, the better. There is always something to learn about gardening. Um, I know quite a bit, but there is so much more that I still have to learn. Um, that I'm learning as things come up. Things come up, you know, you might not have dealt with that before. Um, you know, go on the internet, ask around. We create these channels to help you guys. We love to help you. I want to get people more into nature and connected with nature because so many people have become disconnected to that and to each other as humans and just become divided. So, you know, getting your hands into nature, this is the way we used to do things. We used to grow our, our own veggies and herbs. There were no supermarkets, you know. Um, everybody helped each other and just lent a hand on the knowledge and experiences that they have. So I just want to do that for you guys. Um, a dear friend passed all this information off to me, and I've gotten a lot through my own trial and error. So, you know, it's really satisfying to me to be able to help you guys and to pass that along. Um, I hope to continue to still do that for you. Um, I hope this helps you in giving your nutrients a little bit extra of a kickstart to your plants. Until um, next time, guys, if you have any questions, please comment below. Bye-bye.